hello 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 welcome back to my channel this is rosie rosette 2020 um july 21st 2020 okay so i'm trying to see i don't know if i made a video on the judge whose son was shot dead killed in new jersey and her husband who i think you know lived whatever so apparently the person who walked up to you know their house was in a fedex uniform okay so that happened over the weekend judge solace is that her name esther solace i don't know okay so there may be a correlation there was a crestline attorney's murder I don't know where Crestline is. Crestline, California. Okay, earlier this month, and um, attorney Mark An Angelucci, 52, was gunned down at his home on Saturday, July 11th, around 4 p.m. And the thing about it is, this has to be some old mafia something or something, because to do something, you know, in the middle of the day, Deputies responded and reported a shooting in the 22400 block of Glenwood Drive. Oh my God. So apparently there was, you know, a FedEx person. But don't get me wrong. Didn't they catch the person who was in the FedEx uniform? I know I saw that. So what is going on? Okay, so now this is gonna have a huge problem with FedEx because now no one's gonna wanna open the door and sign for the packages. Listen, FedEx, if you need to, I was just at FedEx the other day um, complaining about the service because they didn't drop off my package. Now I'm just like, you know what? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, you know, this is, this is too much. So, I mean, oh, poor FedEx people. I don't know what's going on. This world, now we're killing judges, families, and attorneys and everything? Like, what's going on? But the person, Mark Angelucci, excuse me if I'm butchering his name, but for, from what I read, he was somewhat of a civil rights attorney or, you know, a defense attorney, something to that um, degree. And he was on a couple of cases that, you know, had some people upset and I think the same thing happened with the lady judge in New Jersey so this is all bad because now you think that the justice system is screwed up now but once you know they're putting hits out on attorneys and judges things are really going to get bad you know what I'm saying I mean people are just absolutely bonkers but you don't kill you don't put hits out on judges families you don't you know um you don't put a hit out on an attorney what did this attorney do what was the case that he was hooked up with that got him killed but i think they're still investigating um you know, the fact, okay, death for a possible connection, let's see, to the killing of the son of suspect. Let me see, it's after the later later attorney found, and it's been described, sorry. Okay, it's been described as an anti-feminist activist who was sued, who has sued Manhattan nightclubs for offering ladies discounts. Then he wrote a letter Mm -mm. It doesn't specify what type of dealings he had, the attorney. Okay, I'm going to have to re... Okay, Angelucci was a man's rights activist and a board member for the Los Angeles chapter of National Coalition of Men. For men. This is really sad. This is really sad. So again, I think this is the man. That's the man. 
That's the man. Let me see if they have a story on him. Let me see if they have a quick story on him. Sorry, you guys. Just, I didn't even look at this. We begin tonight with breaking news at 11 o'clock. We're learning new information about the murder of local attorney Mark Angelucci, a well-known activist in the men's rights movement. Come on. And, and wearing a FedEx uniform, shot Angelucci dead in his doorway on July 11. It's a case with disturbing similarities to this deadly shooting at a federal judge's home in New Jersey. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Souter joining us live now with the late breaking details. Leanne? Mark, federal officials figure out what the cross-country connection may be in both cases. The alleged shooter dressed in a FedEx uniform. The mystery unraveling behind the brazen daytime shootings of a federal judge's family in New Jersey, now leading to Southern California and the murder of high-profile attorney Mark Angelucci. The law that explicitly discriminated against men. The 52-year-old was a well-known men's rights advocate. Attorney Rhonda Kennedy, Angelucci's friend and co-counsel in several cases, says she's in shock. Because of all the similarities, um, you know, which... which it's still, it's, it's scary because now we still don't know what the motive was, where the threat's coming from, to anything that we're doing. Angelucci was killed at his home in Crestline July 11th. Federal authorities now investigating the case say he was shot at his front door by a suspect reportedly wearing a FedEx uniform, strikingly similar to the weekend attack on Judge Esther Salas's family. Her 20-year-old son was killed, her husband shot by a suspect dressed in a FedEx uniform with his face covered. The alleged shooter, Manhattan attorney and described anti-feminist Roy Den Hollander was found dead today of a self-inflicted gunshot wound, a FedEx package addressed to the judge in his car. Hollander, who had a case before Judge South. Oh, okay, so there is... Team ...was known for suing New York City nightclubs over their ladies' night discounts. And I'm now trying to turn this tables of equality on the feminazis who have changed this country. Authorities now trying to figure out what his connection may be to Angelucci here in Southern California. He was such a good guy that there is, I can't think of anyone in this entire world that would want to harm him. Kennedy says she's absolutely heartbroken by the loss and says at this point she does not know of any connection between Angelucci and Hollander, but again, authorities trying to figure out what that may be. So apparently, there are people, they're using FedEx. If you think about the Sorry. last few months, Sorry, sure. they're using FedEx and delivery people in their uniform to kill people. And the last person, I think it was Hollander, he also had a self-inflicted gunshot wound and a FedEx package was near him. So this is really getting eerie. This is really getting eerie. I'm good on FedEx. Y'all don't have to worry about me. I'm not ordering anything else. I don't need FedEx to come into my door or anything. I'm not answering. If somebody is in a FedEx uniform at my door, I'm running and calling the cops. No, no, no. You're not getting me that way. I'm not answering. Actually, I don't answer the door for anybody. Okay? No. If I don't see anybody in there, that package can stay there for a couple of hours. Okay? Everyone, please be careful. Um, this is really bad. They're putting hits out. They're putting a hit out on various uh, attorneys, people in the ju judicial system. Sorry, I can't speak. It's too late at night. And this is to the point where, you know, when they start killing attorneys and judges or their families or whatever, you know, this is, you know, this is like what's happening in Mexico. That's why so many people are trying to flee Mexico because, you know, the Mexican mafia, they have, you know, a hold on all kinds of things. I'm just going to leave it like that. Let me stop talking about the mafia because I do not want you guys coming anywhere near me. If it's a problem with my videos, let me know and I'll take it down. Let me know. I have no problems. I am not trying to deal with any mafia or whatever. But this is, I'm wondering what are the links? 
What's the correlation between the men? I don't think it's a hate crime. I think they, they are trying to deter someone's ruling on something or someone has some information. You know, all those shows that we see with ghosts or The Wire or, you know, all these other TV shows, they're coming to life. I mean, these are like real life, you know, hits on people. So, everyone be careful, please. I have a couple of attorneys in my family. I have a person who, one of my good friends, she works in the court system. So please, um, I have someone very close to me who, um, I don't wanna go into detail. Okay, you guys take care, bye.